Hello, welcome back to Food Friday with Sammy B. Today we are cooking up my favorite homemade soup. You're going to love it. It is a pho udon noodle beef soup. Let's jump right in. I've made this many, 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 many times. I've perfected the recipe. Actually, the first time I made it, it was like chef's kiss done. You're gonna love it. You have to try it. Make sure you hashtag, hashtag, Food Friday with Sammy B. Let me know on Instagram, take me a picture, and let's begin. You guys are seriously gonna love this. Can I say that enough? So we are going to start with our slow cooker. This is the best way to do it. Then you get a long, slow cook and let the juices and the spices and the flavors absorb into everything. So we're gonna start on high. Okay, chill. And I got two packs of just like stewing beef. I think that's what it's called here. Yeah, stewing beef. It's already pre-chopped. You can do whatever you want, but I'm gonna do two packs because we are meat lovers. So I'm gonna throw that in the crock pot. I got all the beef in here. Oh, that's actually a lot. That's actually too much. I'm not gonna lie, that is, that's too much. I'm gonna take some of that out. Yes, there's such thing as too much meat. Okay, wow. It looks like I probably only need one of those containers. Like I filled this all the way up and yeah, that's actually pretty good. So I guess just cover the bottom layer of your slow cooker with meat. Okay, so now we're gonna spice it up. We're gonna start with a little bit of rice vinegar or honestly, whatever vinegar you want. That's just what I'm using. That's gonna help to tenderize the meat and make it like softer. We're gonna do some Himalayan pink sea salt. Any type of soy sauce, this is from a sushi restaurant <laughs> that we just save because this stuff is the best. I don't know what brand they use, but this stuff is the best. So I'm gonna do that whole thing. And then some celery salt. So um, you can do as much as you want for seasonings. Like, I don't think I need to tell you how much. Like, like look at how I'm doing the celery salt. It's just gonna kinda cover the first layer of meat. I'm gonna not stir it. I'm gonna just let it cook as it is now. And then when I pull it out, or sorry, when I when I go to um, stir it, then we'll add probably a little bit more of our spices. So if you want, you can watch me. Ah! Every last drop, oh my God, I can smell it. It smells so good. Don't go shy in the soy sauce. Like just, this is like, one of the key ingredients here is like soy sauce. Okay, I caught up some garlic and I threw it in here. This meat is like 90% cooked, I'd say. Like it's a little bit pink still, but honestly you can eat meat pink. So I would say now is the time to start putting your veggies in. So I was not prepared yet. So we're gonna go cut those up. And I'm gonna throw the veggies in, especially the hard ones so that they can start softening and I'll show you which ones to do. Before we add the veggies, we're actually gonna add a faux broth. You can make your own if you want, but I just buy one. Wow, I did that with one hand. I got my sous chef. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna dump this whole thing in. It's like pouring oil, pour it on its side. You get less leakage. We're gonna dump that whole thing in. Ow, I just burnt my finger touching the slow cooker. There we go. So now the broth can actually start to really warm up. So that's why we wanted to add it now that the beef is like 90, 95% cooked. So that now the broth can heat up to, well, it's not quite gonna get to a boil, but we want it to be really hot so that the veggies can have a nice warm, hot base to start soaking in because yeah, the carrots, we don't want them crunchy. We don't want the broccoli too country. country. What? I, know, I was just thinking about my Sims pack legacy challenge. And if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Right there. It's a really good series. So anyways.
Okay, now it's time to add the bok choy. So I'm not gonna cut it. I'm just gonna have it whole. And I'm gonna put it in. Next thing is snow peas. Mmm, more soy sauce. So much that you're basically drinking it. Just kidding. Bok bok sauce, which is like a necessity. And like, I don't know, a little kind of goes a long way. But like, you can keep adding to it. So I'll probably start with that. But this is the sauce and it will not disappoint. <laughs> Okay, I cut up some lime and then I just went to the garden and chopped some green onion. How pretty does that look? Okay, now I'm gonna put some udon noodles in. Probably, I don't know how many yet. I'll let you know. Okay, I squeezed in three packages. So those are gonna start absorbing liquid. So I'm gonna fill this pretty much up to the, actually I'm just gonna use the rest of this up, which is almost to the rim. And then we can add more if we want, but we're gonna just let those absorb. And don't let them cook too long because they get really soggy and it's fucking gross. So do it right at the end. Don't let anyone tell you that there's such thing as too much soy sauce. All right, it's done. So we're gonna scoop it into little bowls and then we're gonna top it with the toppings. Cilantro. Okay, so the last thing you're gonna top off with was the cilantro, some green onion, and bean sprouts. And you are good to go to enjoy. I hope you guys make this recipe and give this video a like and subscribe.